So off we go at Goodison Park. Everton are unbeaten in the last five Premier League games at Goodison and there's a real feel-good factor around the place now under Carlo Ancelotti to the extent that European football next season is not out of reach. And victory today will certainly help that cause. Here's Gary Cahill, the former Chelsea man, and Dominic Calvert-Lewin has robbed him. Just couldn't feed the ball to Richarlison, but he was fouled. It is Luca Dean who steps up, and he got, got it through the wall, but couldn't beat goalkeeper Coeta. Seemed to go down in slow motion there. Just maybe took a nick on the way through. Here's MacArthur. Van Arnholtz. He's got a shot here, which has struck the post. And put behind by Keane in the end. Well, it was a good strike at goal from Van Arnholtz. And struck the upright. Real snapshot this. Off the base of the post. And eventually put behind by Everton for the corner. Run back by Schneidlin. Here's Coleman. Schneidlin again. Sigurdsson, Coleman's continued his advancement forward. Now Theo Walcott puts it into a penalty. Area. Real chance! Finished by Bernard in acres of space inside the penalty area. A perfect ball in from Walcott and dispatched brilliantly by Bernard. 17 minutes played and Bernard slots home at the Gladys Street end. Everton were patient in their build-up and that was the ball in from Theo Walcott, brilliantly steered home by the Brazilian. On the volley. Goalkeeper, no chance. Well, maybe it's not good news for Theo Walcott here. This could spell the end of his involvement this afternoon. And it is Jibril Sidibe who's going to come on as the replacement for Theo Walcott. Almost 25 minutes played. He'll wait for a break in play. Coleman's ball in. Calvert Lewin's trying to get there, Bernard's there again, and Calvert Lewin was inches away from making a connection and getting Everton a second goal. That's how close Calvert Lewin was. So, Jibril Sadibi is finally on. Here's Milovojevic. Oh, Jordan Pickford there to smother. He didn't hold on to it and it escaped his clutches. And Palace won a penalty and it's waved away by David Coote. That's half time at Goodison Park. Everton with the advantage, courtesy of Bernard's brilliant strike in the 18th minute. Everton won, Crystal Palace nil. So, half-time, team talks have been delivered, no changes from either manager. And we get the second half underway, Everton attacking the park end goal. And looking to keep a clean sheet, of course, down at the other end. Jordan Ayo. Oh, he's got the better of Luca Dean. Breaks here for James McCarthy, who picked out by mistake, I think, the heart. And the free kick is going to be Everton's here. All looked a little dangerous for Everton inside their own penalty area. Milovojevic up towards Benteke. Collected by Zahar, who's trying to release Benteke here. Christian Benteke for Palace, and he's got it through and under Jordan Pickford. And he scored his first goal of the season. And Jordan Pickford will not be happy with that. He knows it. Everton fans know it. Crystal Palace have equalised. 
Well, Benteke on his 100th Premier League appearance for Palace has broken his duck this campaign. Zaha. Weaving his way towards the penalty area and Yeri Mina has to stand his ground. Breaks here for Gary Cahill. Results in another Palace corner. Near post and causing Everton real confusion and they got away with it somehow. They were at sixes and sevens there inside their own six-yard box. It was a wicked corner in the end from Van Arnholt. Now oh, Richarlison. One against one here. Can he go all the way? Richarlison for Everton! What a goal! Superbly done! by the brilliant Brazilian. He got the better of Cahill all right, and he knew exactly where he was going to dispatch it. Everton have been rocking at the other end, and they've hit Palace on the counter-attack, and they've hit them in some style too. Calvert-Lewin with the flick on, and then it was all down to this man. Richarlison, direct, purposeful, clinical. Everton back in front. Expertly taken by Richarlison. Stroked home into the corner of the Palace net. Palace looking to respond again. Here's Benteke, what a save from Pickford. Well, that makes up for it, doesn't it? Point-blank brilliance from the Everton goalkeeper, and here he is, taking it cleanly out of the air. Well, that is much better from Jordan Pickford, because this looked a certain equalising goal for Crystal Palace and Christian Benteke. Richarlison... Ziggerton wants it, he's closed down by MacArthur, he still has it though, he's going all the way! It's an excellent save by the Palace keeper this time. Vicente Guaita sticks out an arm to de deny Gilfie Ziggerton. Michael Keane has to rise again on the shot. On the turn from Benteke, just a couple of feet wide of Pickford's left-hand post there. Didn't really catch this, Christian Benteke. Pickford knew that that one was heading wide. Luca Dean was bombing into the box. Scott Dan was on watch for Crystal Palace. Well, a third goal for Everton would seal victory. You could be sure of that. Luca Dean whips it in, and there's the header off the crossbar and put in by Calvert Lewin. A poacher's goal, but another for Dominic Calvert Lewin, and a third for Everton on the day. That surely, surely gives them the three points. Mason Holgate, Albert Lewin again. Looking for a second himself, goes for goal. And I think the keeper got a touch on that. Luca Dean picking up. Davis again. Releasing Luca Dean. Richarlison wants it. He'll go for goal again. Pushed away. Oh, and Calvert Lewin. Couldn't convert it this time. Not quite as easy as the one he slotted home just minutes ago. Job done. Full time at Goodison Park. Everton three. 
Bristol Palace 1.